Good day, students. My name is Ajayi Akitunolua Tosin, your physics teacher for today. Topic for today is electrical energy and electrical power. What are the behavioral objectives? At the end of this lesson, learners should be able to analyze the concept electrical energy and electrical power with emphasis on definition of electrical energy and electrical power two solve simple calculation on electrical energy three solve calculations on electrical power then four cause electricity we use at home contents what is electrical energy electrical energy is the work done when a quantity of charge moves between two points of potential difference or electrical energy is a form of energy resulting from the flow of electric charge. Electrical energy is caused by moving electric charge called electron. The faster the charge moves, the electrical energy they carry. Electrical energy is the ability of an electrical circuit to produce work by creating an action. This action can take many forms, such as thermal, electromagnetic, mechanical, electrical, etc. Electrical energy can be both created from battery, generator, dynamos, and photo, photo, photic, etc. Or stored for future use using fuel cell, battery, capacitor or magnetic field etc thus electrical energy can be either created or stored and is measured in joules uses of electrical energy what do we use electrical energy for here are some examples of everyday objects that use electrical energy your washing machine your dry dryer television, cell phone, laptop, air conditioner system, flashlight, heating system, refrigerator, battery, etc. Many of these items are AC or DC. When we say AC, we are talking about alternating current. And when we talk about DC, we are talking about direct current, which means they receive electricity from wall outlets. Other use electricity from batteries. Why these sources both produce electricity they convert different types of energy into electrical energy conversion of electrical energy so where does electrical energy comes from it comes from mechanical energy that's from movement radiant energy from light waves sound energy from sound waves and thermal energy from heat and all these forms can be converted into electrical energy to produce electricity some examples include electric generator that's mechanical energy to electricity windmill mechanical energy to electricity hydroelectric power plant mechanical energy to electricity steam power point plants thermal energy to electricity nuclear power plant thermal energy to electricity solar panels that's radiant energy to electricity then battery that's chemical energy to electricity so all these forms are the conversion of conversion to electricity electrical energy to electricity now measurement of electrical energy when we talk about measurement of electricity we said that work done is equal to quantity of charge times the potential difference and we said that work done is w quantity of charge is q and v is our potential difference so we said that the electrical energy is going to work done times quantity times potential difference and therefore if you recall that q quantity of charge is going to current times time so if you replace the q in the formula w q v then we are going to have our electrical energy as v i t w is going to v i t 
and we can also make another formula from Ohm's law. You know that V is goes to I R. Now, and as you know from equation, the equation W is goes to V I T. So if you put um, where you have your V, you put I T from Ohm's law, then we are going to have W is goes to I squared R T. I will come back after a short time. Thank you. Welcome back. We are trying to look at electrical energy. And uh, the formula for electrical energy is I squared RT. Now, again, let's make from using Ohm's law, let's make I the subject of formula. You know, V is goes to IR, and we make I the subject of formula. So I is goes to V all over R. If you put that in the equation 3, that's W is goes to I squared RT. Then we are going to have W is goes to V squared all over R squared times RT. And we now have V is goes to R squared all over R times T. So W is goes to V squared T times T all over R. And you know that V is the potential difference, T is the time, then R is your resistance. Now let's move on to electrical power. We say that electrical power is the is the time rate at which energy is used up at which energy is used up or we say that electrical power is defined as the rate at which energy is consumed in an electric car circuit power is measured in watts what is watts is a unit of power the unit of power is watt which is denoted by the symbol w and it is named after the stockish engineer James Watts. What is the rate at which work is done when a current of one ampere of current flow through a network which has an electrical potential difference of one volt? Electrical difference of one volt. Measurement of electrical power. Power is equal to work done all over time. And you know that work done which is the electrical energy is going to QV. So power is going to QV all over T. And as you all know that Q is equal to IT. So we say that power is going to IT times V divided by T. And you know that there is still in the numerator the D at the denominator. So T we cancel T. So power is equal to IV. That's equation one. Now go back to Ohm's law, which says that V is going to IR. If you put IR in that equation one, that's P power is goes to IV, then we are going to have power is goes to I squared R, that's equation two. We can derive another formula for electrical power. If you, from Ohm's law again, making I the subject of formula. So if you make I the subject of formula, you have I is goes to V all over R. Put it in equation two. Then we have power is goes to V all over R squared times R. If you squared both, then we are going to have power is goes to V squared all over R, equation 3. Now, let's look at electrical energy consumed. We say that power is consumed in kilowatts per hour. Meter are calibrated. The meter we use at home are calibrated in kilowatts per hour. So that one kilowatt is, used, is the energy used. At working rate of 1000 watts for an hour so one hour is 60 times 60 will give us 360 one kilowatt as you know kilowatt is, uh, is thousand to that's 1000 watts so one kilowatt per hour is one kilowatt times one hour so 1000 times 60 times 60 so one kilowatt per hour that means what you use for one kilowatt per hour is 360 that's three that's three million 600 that's we now say that one kilowatt per hour is goes to 3.6 mega joules then we have other larger value or units for power we have pico uh, pico watts that's 10 raised per 12 nano watt 10 raised per 9 uh micro watt 10 raised per 6 uh we have milliwatt 10 raised per 3 we have kilowatt 10 raised per 3 we have megawatts 10 raised to power 6 now let's look at calculations involving uh, electrical power a house old refrigerator consume electrical energy 
at the rate of 200 watts if electricity costs 5 cobo per kilowatts per hour calculate the cost of operating the appliances for 30 days that means you have a refrigerator which call, which use electrical energy of 200 watts and electrical cost five cobo per kilowatt per hour that means for an hour you use five cobo and we are asked that if these appliances is on for 30 days that how much will it be so we say that power is goes to 200 watts we convert to kilowatts that 200 divided by 1000 then cost is five cobo per kilowatts per hour the numbers of days is 30 and so we say time is goes to 30 that's the number of times 24 will give us 720 hour, hours then electrical energy is goes to power times time please let me come back after a timeout thank you welcome back we are trying to look at the questions that says that a household refrigerator consume electrical energy at the rate of 200 watts if electricity costs five cobble per kilowatt per hour calculate the cost of operating the appliance for 30 days so we've said that we have to convert the power 200 to uh, kilowatts that's divided by 1000 and we now say that electrical energy is going to power times time and we now say that electrical energy is going to what's our power is 0 0.22 times the time and what is the time that's 720 so we now have 144 kilowatts per hour for our electrical energy and one kilowatt per hour costs 55 cobble so cost of 144 kilowatts per hour is equal to 144 times 5 is equal to 720 720 cobble so if we divide it by 100 so we are going to have our cost for operating the refrigerator for 30 days as 7 naira 20 cobo let's look at another question an electrical lamp rated at 48 watts 12 volt supply calculate the current flowing in the lamp and the resistance an electrical lamp rated at 48 watts 12 volt supply calculate the current flowing in the lamp and the resistance we know that power is 48 watts voltage is 12 volts and we know that power is goes to iv in equation one and if you make i the subject of formula because we are looking for current then we have power divided by the voltage so 48 divided by 12 so our current is 4 ampere now from ohm's law we know that v is goes to ir now we can make r the subject of formula because we are looking for resistance so we know that v divided by high and our v as we know is 12 volts from the question and our i that we that we derive from the formula of power which is 4 so our resistance is 12 divided by 4 so the resistance is 3 ohms let's look at the third equation example again a lamp marked 220 volts 60 watts calculate the energy cons energy it will consume when connected to a 220 volt source for one hour so you have a lamp 220 volt power 60 watt and it's connected to a 220 volt you need to just connect this for one hour so we are asked that we should calculate the energy consumed we know that voltage is 220 power is 60 watts and time which is one hour is equal to 60 times 60 so we have 360 seconds so power is goes to iv and uh, from from that we now say that i is goes to p all over 220 so we now have our current as 0 0.2727 ampere and as we know that electrical energy is equals to qv and from uh, from uh, from q is equals to it if you put q is equals to it so we are going to have vit is equals to so our voltage is 220 our current is 0 0.2727 and our time is 360 so if you multiply it so we have 21,600 joules 21,600 joules let's look at another example an electric bulb is rated 60 watts 220 volts 
calculate the resistance of its filament when it is operating normally we are given voltage as 220 power as 60 watts but we are not giving the resistance we are looking for the resistance and as we know the third equation for power which says that v squared divided by r and if we make r the subject of formula we are going to have resistance is equal to voltage squared divided by power so voltage squared which is 220 times 220 divided by 60 so our resistance is equal to 48,400 divided by 60 so our resistance is 806.6666 but when we are proximate, we now have R is equal to 806.667 ohms. The unit of resistance is ohms. Now let's look at the last one for today, which was the question set in alternative to practical WIEC, January, February 2020. It says that a 75 watt television is set, is left on continuously for one week. Calculate the cost of electricity used. If one kilowatt is sold for Ghana CD is 0 0.10, power is 75 watts. You convert divide by 1,000, we have 0 0.075 kilowatts. Days that we are asked, so they say that one week, which is seven days, and the time the time for a day is 24 hours. So we convert the time, seven days times 24, we have 160 hours, 68 hours. So electrical energy is equal to power times time. So power, which is 0 0.075 times 168, will give us 12.6 kilowatts per hour. And we know that 1 kilowatts per hour is equal to Ghana CD 0 0.10. So cost of 12.6 kilowatts per hour is equal to 12.6 times 0 0.10, which will give us Ghana CD 1.26. 1.26. So you can try the uh the assignment we have two assignments below so which will be displayed so you try that on your own thank you